Hey everyone, it's Steven here again, and I'm here to bring you some more first impressions. So, I done a recent video where I was selling some fragrances, and I kind of showed a little kind of, I showed the fragrances I have in front of me here. And one of my, one of my subscribers said, oh, you like Kuros, you should be interested in trying the vintage Kuros. So kindly, I've now been sent a little decant package here. I've yet to open this. And he's also said he's added some extra stuff in. And it looks like I can see quite a few little bottles here. So let's see what I have. And yeah, you know, I, I had this package and I saw this and yeah, I just kind of had a big smile on my face because I own the modern Kuros. You know, Kuros is meant to be a beast in its old format and I've heard all the hype and people go on you know, uh, reformulation and this not as good as it used to be. And I wasn't really keen to buy into it to be honest, you know, it's it's quite expensive I think to go out and get it. But yeah. Wow, so this is <laughs> this is awesome, thanks. This is like about Three mils in each, I think it is, and that's really kind of you to provide all these. So what's here? So there's YSL Noble Leather. Is that part of the? Oh, I'm not. I'm actually heard. I'm probably not heard the most of these now. There's Blackwood by Remy Latour. There's Sospria Ebra Pura, a clone version. There's Oud World by Oud Scent. Black Oud by Remy Latour. Oud Classique by Oud Essent. And Kuros. So yeah, thank you very much for this. I'm super appreciative and just, you know, having the chance to try it. Yeah, that's awesome. So I think I'll go with Kuros first, eh? So again, I've tried only the newest formulation. I got three bottles, and the oldest one is 2011. So I'm not sure what age this is from, but. Surprisingly, it doesn't seem that different from the start, I'll be honest. There's definitely a bit more kind of harshness there. I'd say, like, I think with the current formulation, there's a very noticeable, what's the spice? Coriander, I believe, but this seems a bit. It's definitely along the lines of other, like, older scents I've tried. I have, like, these mi little mini bottles, and I got about 20 of them, you know. Fragrances like Davidoff, like old Davidoffs, kind of Zeno, I think, and just really old scents, like, I had Polo Raffle around. Yeah, and this has that, it's kind of... It's hard to say, I hope I haven't smelled it too close, but... I'll be honest, it's not the beast I was expecting it to be. But I think I'll have to... i let that dry down a while now, and again, I'll come, a I'll come back and film within two hours or so. So I'll try something different, so Blackwood by Remy Latour. Ooh, that's very nice. I think I can smell anise from that because it's a very dark and spicy feeling. Hmm, it's got kind of a very burntness to it. In a nice way, like an ember kind of smell. Yeah, that's really nice. There's a sweetness which may have been honey perhaps as well, I'm not sure, but yeah, that's really nice. Maybe tobacco. I'm not sure. The, the thing I can I can think of was my I have a perfume par parlor copy of Back to Back to Black by by Killian, and it's kind of along those lines. Honey and tobacco. Hmm, that's really nice. So I'll try this kind of cool cool coloured one. So Oud Classic by Oud Scent.
Wow, that's really sweet. That's, that's familiar, but I can't actually think of what now. Did I say what? I turn into a... I wouldn't necessarily think that's very oody. It's quite light and... I think the colour kind of says, I don't really know, it kind of smells like you think that would... <laughs> the colour of that, it kind of smells like you expect that to smell quite fruity-ish. Actually, like raspberries, I think, is this reminded me of, of Arab tradition, which is kind of raspberry, you know, Tom uh, Tus Tuscaloosa clone. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a sweet and appealing scent. So I'm gonna try this. What was it? Not too gross. So why it sells noble leather? So I'll have to go up. A, I'll have to go and take a look at what this is now because I'm not sure if it's like a Privé line of sorts. But I'll be honest, I haven't really heard of an, uh, a Privé line by YSL. But I think all the companies got them. You know, Armani, Dior, everything. Oh, That's interesting, it's like... Uh, again, it's quite sweet and licorice-y, I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not giving off any good first impressions here, like I can't... I'm struggling to kind of discern stuff, to be honest. Uh, it's hard to say with that. Uh, yeah, so now with Kuros, the kind of... Uh, yeah, you kind of got that, ca not cardamom, sorry, the coriander's coming through now, it's giving it a bit of a spiciness, but it's still a bit subdued. Like, I'll be honest, I was kind of expecting this to be a lot beastier. Yeah, this black wood is very similar to back to black from what I remember. It's quite, ah, it's very familiar. I think it's tobacco. Got a rice spray now. The old one is quite light again. I'm fucking terrible at first impression though, it's bloody hell. Right, so I've tried four. I'm gonna keep three aside. And yeah. I'm not sure, I'll have to edit it again. I don't know. So yeah, follow up to the fragrances I tried yesterday. So a day's gone by now, and I wore those for about three hours last night. I filmed that video about 11, 11 and nine o'clock, and then about 12 o'clock I went in the shower. I was kind of hesitant to actually do it because I didn't really want to wash Kuros off. But, you know, I kind of had a chance to test them for three hours. So let's see. So why it sells Noble Leather? I've now looked this up and it's actually really expensive. So thank you very much to Ayoi, Ayoi for sending me these samples. Like, this is actually pretty good. You know, people, some people are comparing it to Tuscan Leather. I don't think so. It's not Tuscan Leather at all. It kind of goes off in its own vibe. There's a strong smell of amber in here, which I didn't really pick up at the start, but it gives it a very kind of warm feeling. Kind of similar to D Squid D Squid's potion. That's very amber heavy and I'm kind of you know I'm quite familiar with amber now because of scents like that. So yeah, I really did enjoy that one. For about three hours you could kind of smell it, but it seemed to be fading away just before I jumped in the shower. So I'm not sure what people were saying on for Grantica that it's really heavy and it does project and last for a long time. But I'll have to try this bit more now. So Ayoy and I have been talking back and forth in email. 
and he also said that this one reminds him of, of Tuscan leather which is what I said when I tried it on I compared it to Arab tradition by Nabil which is a clone of Tuscan leather a note for no clone if I that so yeah it was cool to pick up on that on the website they list kind of vetiver I think which I was picking up a little bit of vetiver in there <laughs> but yeah you know I really did enjoy that one it seemed to last as well this was given off heavy projection when I was smelling it and from a distance too so that was good Kur, uh, can, I'll do Kuros last. Fine, uh, the other one I tried was Blackwood by Remy Latour. Looking this up, it does have similar notes to Back to Black by, by Killian, which is what I was thinking it smelled like. Is that? Yeah, it was. <laughs> and yeah, you know, it's kind of, it seemed to be lasting for a good two and a half hours. I was smelling it like here, and it was a good noticeable scent. And then I actually thought to myself, wow, that's actually kind of projecting well. And I smelled it again, I couldn't actually smell it, so I'm not sure, but I did enjoy this. It's The notes are quite interesting, and I wouldn't mind owning that, it's a really nice fragrance. And finally I tried Kuros, or firstly I tried Kuros. I don't know, I'm a little disappointed, I'll be honest. What I said was it reminded me of my mini vintage aftershaves, and I didn't actually notice it, but I looked at the picture here again, and... Yeah, this is actually an aftershave, so I did ask Ayoi and he said and he said, yeah, you know, well spotted. And I think maybe that's kind of like aftershave splash kind of things. Like I kind of noticed a very heavy alcohol dominant kind of smell throughout, you know. It was hard to actually pick out the pinpoint notes. Like I said, I gotta pick up the the coriander. And I didn't really discern many other notes, you know, I think there's fresh bergamot and aldehydes in, in Kuros, well there is, sorry. I couldn't get none of that, it was just kind of very hard and a bit muted. And that's the same experience I have with my other vintage aftershaves. Like about 10 of them, they all have this common feel, which is exactly what I experienced from Kuros. And, you know, three hours just before I jumped in the shower, it just had that, I don't know, it was hard to actually pinpoint notes. It just had this overall like an aftershave feel I guess, you know maybe that is the kind of the feel of an aftershave, I'll be honest I don't really wear them, I always go for sprays. So yeah, I've, I've enjoyed those four I've tried, I'm definitely going to try Kuros more and hope that I do get a bit different experience from this now. Maybe it needs to breathe a bit and kind of something like that. I always say, said that the bottle was from early 2000s, 2000s, from 2000, so that's kind of 15 years old, over 15 years old probably, so yeah. So I have three more to cover now and I'll probably do this in a bit. I have, so there's a niche brand here which this is a clone of called Sospiro Herba Puro or Pura, I can't see, Pura, but I don't know what that is to be honest. Black Oud by Remy Latour and Oud World by Oud Scent. Something's a bit orgy. Or I think it's the only one that's a bit kind of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, so thank you very much for watching this video, guys, and take care, and I'll be posting the second part of this now, today or tomorrow. So see you then, and goodbye. Mm -hmm.